the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, verse 12, it simply says this. After the fire came a gentle whisper. Some versions say a still small voice. It was the sound of silence. You're all familiar with that famous song. I believe it's by Simon and Garfunkel, The Sound of Silence. To enjoy and appreciate silence is one of the small joys of life that can bring us so much peace and happiness and contentment in our lives. It's then that our spirits be become receptive to the presence of God. You know what I mean? When things are going on all around you uh, at a pace that's uh, unbelievable in today's world, sometimes we don't even sense His presence. We'll go through a whole day and we'll just haven't sensed the presence of God. When we take time to enjoy the silent times of life, places like this, there's a little noise, a natural noise, but not too much by way of anything else. And you can really appreciate the peace of God. Enter a, a silent time in your life with a prayer that the Holy Spirit will fill your thoughts with Christian content and Christian quality. It can be any aspect of His holy being that appeals to you at that moment because He'll, he'll quicken you when you get quiet before him he'll begin to talk to you and quicken you about certain things that he wants to speak to you about it's not it's not always in the fire it's not always in the wind it's not always in the earthquake where you will hear God but it's in the gentle whisper it's in the still small voice oftentimes when you are alone with God in silence and you become aware of his living presence your time of quiet reflection can become a time of spiritual empowerment and spiritual inspiration. Then you can carry on the rest of your day, the rest of your week, the rest of your month, the rest of your project, whatever the case might be. It always pays to sow that quiet time of just sitting in God's presence into every single thing you attempt to do in life. In God's presence, you can gather strength for daily living with all of its demands and responsibilities that we're faced with today, when we get before God and we quiet ourselves down, God empowers us with His grace. So we can say with bold assurance, Lord, I will wait on you in quiet trust. I know that you will disperse all my doubts during those times. You will calm all my fear during those times. And you will fill me with faith with strength, with courage, and with your glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.